Hi everyone, this is the third video of investment decision chapter and in the previous video we have seen the payback period technique of capital budgeting, right? We have seen this payback period. Now in this video what are we going to do is, in this video we are going to see another technique of capital budgeting that is accounting rate of return or you can also call it as average rate of return, okay? It has two names, fine? Average rate of return or accounting rate of return, fine? Let's get into it. Now let's try to understand this average rate of return technique of capital budgeting. See here, I have written the meaning over here. This method takes into account the earnings from the investment over its whole life. See, this is very important. Earnings from the investment. Whatever earnings the investment, that investment will fetch us, right? Those earnings, those accounting profits are taken into account in this average rate of return technique. What? Here in this technique of ARR, average rate of return, profits, accounting profits are taken into account, earning from the investment. Suppose if company is considering right, these three investments and they're evaluating these investment, right, then the initial investment of this project A would be 50 lakh, right? It is 50 lakh. So if company invests 50 lakh in this, then what all cash inflows it will have in the future, right? Those cash inflows are not profits. Are those profits? No, they are not. They are not profits. Profits are something that after deducting the tax and the depreciation, right? Depreciation and tax, after deducting depreciation and tax, that would be profits. So those accounting profits are taken into account here in average rate of return, okay? So the formula of this technique is ARR. See here, this is the average rate of return. ARR is equal to average profit divided by average investment. Okay, this is the formula of this technique. ARR is equal to average profit divided by average investment. So now the main thing is how do we calculate average profit and how do we calculate average investment? Because obviously it will not be given into the question, right? If it is given in the question, then there is nothing to do, just divide, right? So that's not the focus here. Here you have to calculate average profit and average investment. So how do you go about that? See here. To calculate profit, as I said, simple. In the question, cash inflows will be given. Cash inflows will be given. If invest in any project, right, the estimates will be there that this project will fetch us this much cash flows, cash inflows. In the year one, it would be 10 lakh. In the year two, it would be 15 lakh. In the year three, it would be 20 lakh, like that. Estimates will be there. So on the basis of those estimates only, we evaluate the project, right? Because this is something that will happen in the future. It's uncertain, right? So yeah. So those cash inflows are added up, okay? All the cash inflows of the whole life, okay? Whatever life is there of that project, all the cash inflows will be added. And then depreciation, the whole depreciation of that project will be subtracted, right? For example, if this is 10 lakh, depreciation is 2 lakh, then what is the residual value? 8 lakh. Then tax percentage would be given in the question. You have to calculate tax on not on the cash inflow, not on the 10 lakh. You have to calculate tax on the 8 lakh, the residual value, the value after deducting the depreciation, fine? Okay, so that is how you will get the profit. The total cash inflows, add them up all together, minus depreciation and then minus tax. And calculate tax after deducting the depreciation, okay? Don't calculate tax directly on the cash inflows, no. Okay, all right. Then once you get the profit, then easily you can calculate the average profit. That is profit, whatever profit you got here, profit divided by number of years, that would fetch you the average profit. Now, what is this number of years? The years that is estimated that project will continue. Okay, that is the number of years, the life of the project. Fine, yeah. Then your first thing is done. The average profit is done, right? First work is done. The second, Average investment, how do you calculate average investment? See, to calculate average investment, there is a simple formula. See here, average investment is equal to initial investment. Initial investment means the outflow, the first outflow, whatever money we invest, right? Whatever money the company invests, that is the initial investment, right? Initial investment plus scrap value. The scrap value means the value which you would fetch at the last the termination value of the project that is the scrap value so you will add those two together and then divide it by two okay you are calculating average investment so you are dividing it by two and then at last 
if there is any additional working capital given in the question at last add it up okay at last add this additional working capital what is additional working capital sometime what will happen sometime in the project they would need some funds in between in between of the project right so if they estimate that some working capital would be required then that working capital will be given to you in the question and you have to add it to this at last then you will get average investment this simple technique is first do this okay initial investment plus scrap value divided by 2 and then whatever answer you get add it with the additional working capital okay don't add this first add this at last okay add the additional working capital at last fine so this is how you will calculate the average profit and then average investment and once you divide that you will get average rate of return it will be in form of of course percentage right rate it is rate so it will be in form of percentage and then you will compare the compare the percentages the ARR of different different projects and you will select the project which has the highest ARR the highest average rate of return fine so that is what is there in average rate of return here you focus on the accounting profits so that is why this method is also known as accounting rate of return okay this method is also known as this technique is also known as accounting rate of return fine so this is it now let's see the problem let's solve the problem of this ARR and you will get more okay you will understand more fine okay then let's go to the problem now let's solve this problem see here here's the question initial investment 160000 right initially in this project we are going to invest how much 160000 fine and then they have said no scrap value right so we have to ignore the scrap value we have to consider there is no scrap value and we have to take scrap value as nil fine and then they have given us the cash inflows see here cash inflows here and here the amount Year 1, 56,000, year 2, 48,000, year 3, 30,000, year 4, 64,000, and year 5, 80,000, right? And then they have said depreciation is on straight line basis, tax rate 40%, right? Now we have all we need. Now let's start and solve this problem. See here. First, what are we going to do? First, we are going to write the formula because we need to know what we need to find, right? So average rate of return is equal to average profit divided by average investment. That is the formula. We need average profit and we need average investment now we have the formulas over here right how do we calculate profit to calculate average profit first we need profit cash inflows minus depreciation and then minus tax right that is what we do so let's do that first see here to calculate that first let's add up all the cash inflows because here we are considering the whole life of the project right whole life of the project so we have to add up all the cash inflows so cash inflows 56,000, 48,000, 30,000, 64,000, 80,000, we have to add them up, okay? We have to add all of them, right? So ignoring the zeros, let's add them up, 56 plus, yeah, 56 plus, then 48 plus 30 plus, then what is the 64 plus 80, that is equal to 278, isn't it? It is equal to 278. So it is 278,000. That is the total cash inflows, right? Total cash inflow, right? So we have got total cash inflow now. Now use that profit formula, right? Cash inflows minus depreciation minus tax. Use that. Profit is equal to cash inflows, the total cash inflows minus the whole depreciation minus tax, right? Now we have the total cash inflow that is 278. We just added that up, right? So 278, 278,000 and then depreciation. Now, how do we calculate depreciation? Now, I have said that here we are considering the whole depreciation. How much? Whole depreciation, whole depreciation. So that is why, that is why here, here, how many years are there of this project? Five years are there, right? How many years? Five years. And the cost of the investment, the initial investment is 160,000. So now you have to depreciate this, right? Right? So what would be the depreciation of one year? the one year depreciation is 160000 right cost what is the formula of depreciation cost minus scrap value divided by the number of years that is the that is the formula right but we don't have any scrap value so minus 0 that is 160000 only and then divided by the number of years that is 5 right so that is 32000 the depreciation of one year is 32,000, but here we are considering the whole life of the project. So we have to take the whole depreciation that is 
into 5 that is 160,000 but you don't have to do all this you don't have to do that you just have to directly take the initial investment as the depreciation because this whole amount will be depreciated in the five years whole amount because there is no scrap value if there had been scrap value then what would be the depreciation let's say scrap value was 20,000 just for an example scrap value was 20,000 then the whole depreciation would be 160 minus 20,000 this was the whole depreciable amount the whole depreciation would be 140 right so that is what you have to take whole here because entire thing will be depreciated in the period of five years okay that is what so you have to take the whole depreciation that is one lakh sixty thousand the entire initial investment the entire cost would be depreciated in the five years so you have to take the entire depreciation we are considering the whole life of the project in this average rate of return so whole depreciation you have to take okay okay so don't get confused in that okay how do you calculate that simple if there is scrap value just subtract the scrap value from the initial investment okay 160 if there is scrap value let's say 10 so minus 10 right 150 would be the depreciation if the scrap value would, would have been 50 50,000 then the depreciation would have been 160 minus 50,000 right so 110 would be the depreciation this is how you have to do it okay don't worry so cash inflows minus depreciation one lakh sixty thousand entire thing would be depreciated okay entire thing would be depreciated because there is no scrap value so entire thing would be depreciated so you have to take that whole thing and then you have to calculate tax okay so 278 yeah two lakh seventy eight thousand minus one sixty thousand that is a depreciation and the residual value you get as one lakh eighteen thousand now on this one like 18,000 you have to calculate the tax and the tax percentage is given in the question as 40 percent isn't it it is given as 40 percent so on this you have to calculate 40 percent into 40 percent that is equal to 47,200 so the tax is 47,200 right you have to calculate the tax on the residual value not on the cash inflow fine you saw right how we did that yes and then this is a tax 47,200 write that down and then do it again 278 yeah minus 160 minus 47,200 the tax you will find 70,800 as the profit now this is the total profit this is the total profit okay after considering the depreciation and after considering the tax after deducting them up this is the total profit of the five years now you have to find annual average profit you have to find average profit so to find out average annual profit what do you do you just divide it by the life of the project the number of years to calculate average profit divided by number of years just do that number of years so if you do that you would get 14,160 right let's try that 70,800 divided by 5 that would fetch us 14,160 this is the average profit so one thing is done right we have calculated the average profit now we have to calculate the average investment isn't it now how do we go about that how do we calculate average investment the formula is initial investment plus scrap value divide by 2 plus additional working capital but here in this question do we have scrap value no no scrap value no additional working capital nothing so what are we going to do we are going to ignore this completely ignore this right because there is no scrap value no working capital given no additional working capital given only initial investment we have so that is all we are going to take initial investment yeah one lakh sixty thousand divide by two that would fetch us eighty thousand eighty thousand is the average investment if there would have been scrap value and additional working capital then we would have taken them here but now there's nothing so we have to only take initial investment okay so 160,000 divided by 2 that is 80,000 fine so we have got we have got the average investments so once we get average profit and average investment then it's very simple right just divide it up right just divide them up and find out the average rate of return right so that is what we are going to do 14,160 divided by 80,000 yeah so and then you have to multiply it by 100 because here we are finding out in terms of percentages so into 100 that gives you 17.7 percentage right 17.7 percentage so that is how you do it it's very simple right what do you do first first you have to add up all the cash inflows right you can also do it in the table form also okay one by one you can take the 
cash inflows and then calculate the depreciation first and to calculate depreciation it's very simple okay if there is no scrap value whatever cost is there the entire thing would be the depreciation keep that in mind and then the tax right and if there is scrap value here then just subtract the scrap value that whole thing would be the depreciation the entire depreciable amount whatever that would get depreciated right that is what you have to take over here and then the tax tax calculate it on the residual value so that is how you do it and then average investment is initial investment plus scrap value divided by two and if there is any additional working capital then after calculating this then add it with the additional working capital okay so that is how you go about it it's very very simple okay all right then in the next video we are going to see net present value and if you want we can also do a combined problem okay 